up and back to my channel my name is Nicole welcome to ride along with Nicole and I am in a very good mood and I will tell you why by the way this I know you're thinking this is a very like depressing topic and why am I so happy I'm about to explain at the end of the video why I am so happy so anyway um right with much further ado um right so I'm gonna do five signs of like five like red flags to look out for as far as like toxic managers okay so number one your manager is always hot and cold with you you never know where you stand with your manager one minute you guys are laughing and joking you're thinking okay i've got some you know i can relate to this manager right get her or him whoever it is i understand um, you lot are talking deep talk about future money, blah, blah, blah. You lot are, you know, you lot really get along one minute. And then the very next second, your manager turns on you as if you just shot his or her mum. Like, they just, they just flip-flop. Like, you never actually know where you stand with them. You're, you're never too comfortable with them because as soon as you feel like you're getting comfortable as soon as you start to think okay maybe my manager isn't that bad you know straight away your manager you know like lets you know yeah i am that bad <laughs> so that's warning sign number one warning sign number two sorry i'm not swearing at you two <laughs> um yeah your manager nick pitt like nitpicks I mean like you can never do anything right like when I say you can never do anything right I mean excuse me I'm sorry it's not my fault I just come back from yoga actually um yeah so your manager never does anything right so like you can literally do everything you wanted uh, everything that your manager asks you to do you can do yeah but your manager will always find something wrong with what you've done and this could be in retail this could be in admin this could be in hospitality whatever you, you this could be even in like um public service jobs like it could be anything like no matter what you do your manager is never ever happy like never happy like your manager is like you always have something like there's always they always find some reason to blame you for something they blame you for global warming they blame you for they blame you for everything like they in their mind you should not exist like that's how they make you feel they make you feel so small and so they make you feel small they make you feel dumb they make you feel like there's something wrong with you they make you feel insecure they make you they literally attack your self-confidence and your will to live like this is literally what these managers do that's and that is like anyway number three your manager belittles you in front of customers and colleagues well in fact your manager belitt belittles you in front of other people now the professional thing to do if you have a problem with your colleague is to bring your colleague to an office or a nice cozy office room or somewhere quiet discreet where it's out of the earshot of everyone and they say right you know so if it's me right Nicole um, I'm noticing some things that you know that we need to work on like your time your timing or this or that or whatever it is you've got the you've got the respect like they're giving you that respect you know instead of doing it right there where everybody and their mums and their grandmas at home can hear you like when you get belittled in when when your manager belittles you all the time it's bad enough but when you're getting belittled in front of everyone and i'm talking colleagues i'm talking customers i'm talking like like in front of everyone yeah it is not a nice feeling at all and number four you know your manager can never ever keep a promise okay so i'll give i'll give you an example 
I'll give you a couple examples. You know, say if um, there was there was a meeting that we're supposed to get paid for. Like we're supposed we had this meeting, this bull crap meeting that we're supposed to get paid for. Did we get paid? We didn't. So that's an example of her not keeping her promises. Another thing, um, when you're given a day off and that is your day off and then they call you in to say, oh, um, I know I said you can have that day off, but I really need you to come in. That, for example, um, all right, let me just like give a more clearer example because everyone gets called in for overtime. I'm not talking about getting called in for overtime where it's your day off and then someone calls in sick and then they call you because it's your day off. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, oh, um, let's, yeah, let me just pretend, oh, um, it's my grandpa's funeral and it'll be this Saturday. Can I please have this day off? I know. I know you've read, I know you haven't done the rota yet, that's why I'm asking you in advance. Um it's my grandma's funeral, I mean grandpa's funeral, where I was very close to him, blah blah blah. And your manager's like, yeah, sure, absolutely. My condolences. I am so sorry for your loss. Yes, of course. And if there's anything maybe or the company can do, please let me know. And you're thinking, oh, what well, so very supportive no manager uh, how lovely she's all like she's like okay let me actually find a piece of paper and write it down so that i don't forget yeah mm. until the rotor goes up and you see that you're on on that saturday when your manager just the previous day you know promised you you won't be on and the worst case is yeah, everyone forgets things, you know, uh, people might have a forgetful memory. But the worst case is when they, they've clearly forgotten and you go in and you're like, uh, um, hi, um, yeah, you know, yesterday was talked about my funeral, my grandpa's funeral and, you know, you said that I can have the day off and, and you said, you know, like, um, if there's anything else you can do and all that nice stuff, you wrote it down. I was just wondering, um, why am I on for this Saturday when, <laughs> well, not like that, but you just ask really politely and then they give you the attitude that I'm not expecting. Oh, well, um, yeah, sorry about that. Well, it's already gone to head office and, you know, like it's going to be a whole palaver to get someone to cover your shift you know obviously i've put you on an 11 hour shift throwing shade um i put you on for an 11 hour shift you know it's unlikely anyone's gonna want to cover it so i'm really sorry but you're gonna have to work saturday and you're just like but it's not a problem if i was to call in sick it's not a problem if so and so wants to take a day off you know you let them take a day off i mean you let them take a day off because they want to get their phone upgraded but me my, it's my grandpa's funeral and you don't want me to take the day off you know like toxic and the last one is a really big one and that's gaslighting Oh my god, by gaslighting. Now, let me explain to you what gaslighting is before I go into, like, because like, there is some people who actually don't know what gaslighting is. Okay, so, <sighs> what can I use as an example? Alright, my phone is on my bed, yeah? My phone's on my bed. Say if I have to go out and go toilet or whatever, and then I come back and my phone isn't on my bed. My phone's on the table. And say if I have a spouse or someone or anyone actually, and they're saying, no, you know, you had it on the table. And I'm like, no, I had it on the bed. And they are so, so sure that I had it on the table and they are so convincing, they make you think, did I have it on the bed? 
that's gaslighting. Now, gaslighting in the workplace could look a little like, um, uh, actually, no, the phone thing wasn't a good one. Um, okay, so gaslight, forget it, you, you get the message. Like, basically, they've done see that your phone was on the bed, but they want to make you feel like you're going insane, so they're gonna tell you that it's on the table when it's actually on the bed and you're looking at the bed thinking well why isn't my phone on the bed it was on my bed when I left why isn't it there now why is it now on the table and they're saying no you put it on the table and they're making you feel like you're going insane now um what gaslighting could look like um in the workplace is just, uh, Okay, so say if you're owed like 1,500 yen, that's your wage. Your wage is 1,500, yeah? And it has been every single month, 1,500, yeah? You've done the exact same hours, you've been there for like seven, eight months, it's been that way. You've, you've read every stupid little colleague handbook and every silly email that they've ever sent to you and nothing talked about a way to change nothing one day you go to check your account because obviously it's payday and you're excited to see your 1500 like how you see every month and it's only 800 pounds and you're like uh where did the other 700 go <laughs> so you then you know, you then obviously you check your, you know, to see, okay, did I have anything going out? Did like someone hack into my account? Like, do I have an overdraft? Like, I don't think I have an overdraft for that much, but no, nothing. So then you take it to your manager. Um, hey, um, I only got paid 700, I mean 800, whereas usually I get paid 1,500. And they're like, oh no, that's the correct wage. And you're like, no, because I read my contract when you first employed me. I've done the maths like I do every every month. Uh, it's been this way for the last six months. I've gotten 1,500 for the last six months. And, you know, like it's been that way. So why are you now trying to tell me that my wage is actually 800? And they will try and spin some, you know, use big words and use all these words that, you know, they're just thrown together, you know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Swiss salad, you know, like just jumble up some words to confuse you and convince you that, yeah, your wage actually is, um, 800 when in reality, no, they just docked your pay, like they just played about with your wage probably pocketed pocketed it or just like um gave it gave like they couldn't afford that amount of also another thing managers you really need to be mindful of how many people you employ because you can't employ if you're employing so many people and you can't afford to pay these people for all the all the amount of hours you're giving them you know you can't then play about with people's wage and then Tell them that, oh no, that is actually your wage. Because believe it or not, that happens a lot and that is fraud. That is fraud and you can literally take you can literally um, take them to court for that because it is fraud. Sorry, my lips are dry. <laughs> I can feel it. So yeah. Um, but it's, um, that is, um, it's fraud and it's, um, Ah, what am, what am I, what's the word? Okay, well, it might not be that, but there's a word for um, slave labor, that's it. Also comes under slave labor, you're not, you're not actually getting that amount that you're due, but you worked, like, you know what I mean, anyway. Um, so, yeah, like there's no free labour going on here and the amount of blood, sweat and tears you put into those 
800 pounds that you should be getting well 700 pounds that you should be getting goes to show that yeah and these things all of these all five of them happens almost every day in every occupation it's not about you're in a low job or a high job i'm sure even people in working in big corporate businesses has this these same problems the same as someone who's working sweeping the roads in the morning you know like they're like no matter what this is unfortunately this is something that needs to be addressed toxic managers and this also needs to be spoken about more um needs to be spoken about more in schools in colleges in universities because i get why they don't really because they don't really want young people to then think oh okay i'll go earn money illegally instead of um you know having a legit job they don't want that but at the same time a lot of people they they do suffer from you know they do suffer um because of toxic managers and unfortunately the nicer you are the more toxic your manager seems to be like have you ever noticed yeah as much as you know like i cringe it makes me cringe when i see someone who looks like me coming into a workplace and they're all like they're very like um well some people not all some but they're very um hostile they're very like not aggressive but very i'm not going to use the word aggressive but very like overly assertive um I don't know, like, there's a word, <laughs> there is a word, but I can't think of it, um, yeah, basically, they're just, like, you know what, it'll come back to me, yeah, she look, there's a word, man, like, <laughs> uh, there's, you know what, I'll just put it in the editing. <laughs> anyway, so, but have you noticed those people, nobody messes with them. Their wages are 1,500 every month and doesn't go down to 800. Um, their hours don't get played with. Their, um, their managers don't get, like, they, like, there's something about, they um they have this authoric sort of characteristic and they don't really they don't they can see straight through a toxic manager the toxic manager is intimidated by this colleague well this employee of theirs and they don't play with them but the nice people like me <laughs> Um, yeah, managers are horrible to me. Well, my current manager is lovely. I love the place I'm working in. Anyway, speaking of... Okay. Um, so, my wage is, is due to come in on Thursday. Yeah. My wage is due to come in on Thursday. Um... And, you know, it's always been, okay, you know, on the 29th, you know, you might get paid, blah, blah, blah. So, this morning, um, I checked my account, and it's saying 500 and something. And I'm like, what? And for my first thought is, I thought my money comes in Thursday. Second thought is, um, right, um... This better not be my wage because this is way too small to be my wage. Like, I don't know what they're thinking, but this, this is not a wage. Like, I'm thinking, right, I have to start looking for another job. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> so, um, but then, so I've messaged one of my colleagues to say if, um, to see if, 
um, we've been paid yet? And she was like, no, you know, she hasn't been paid. You know, and I was like, oh, there's money in my account. Have we been paid yet? And she was like, no, no, there's no money, no. And I was like, oh. So I'm thinking, I'm racking my brain thinking, this is kind of weird, like, she hasn't been paid, I have. This can't be a full wage. There's like, this is not a full wage. And if this is meant to be my wage, I'm looking for another job. So, um, oh, I punched myself. So anyway, um, yeah. I click on, you know, you, know, you click on in. And I've been, yeah, um, my old job <laughs> has accidentally paid me. So, got money in today. Got money coming in Thursday. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of happy about that. And you know what? The, I have this very faint voice, like the angel on my shoulder is like whispering, whereas the devil on my shoulder is literally shouting through a blowhorn. Like the angel on my shoulder is like basically whispering, they call. This may not end well. You should give the money back. What if they ask you for the money back or they contact you or whatever? Like maybe, you know, you should give the money back. Like someone clearly didn't get paid. Well. <clears throat> Bless me. So anyway, um Yeah, so um so that's what the angel on my shoulder is saying. The angel on my shoulder is saying, you know what, someone, that means someone may not have gotten paid. You probably have someone else's wage. Um, you know, this is not very good. You know, you should contact Tortilla and, well, you should contact Tortilla and um, give them the money back. The devil on my shoulder is saying, hell fucking no. <laughs> I don't know that I am sorry but I am sorry but at the end of the day like they treated me like crap like it's not like okay you know and also all my well not all my colleagues because I was hiring quite a lot but I'm sorry if someone's pissed that they did get paid well it's a sign for them to you know get another job you know, I'm not giving the money back. Tortilla has enough money to repay that person, you know, because at the end of the day, um, I know what I'm owed. The amount of hours that was cut, um, the amount of hours that they cut from me, the amount of um, times they, you know, my manager made me cry, the amount of times where I literally thought that there was literally something wrong with me because of how my manager was treating me, the way that all the managers were treating me, all except one. I'm sorry, but I'm going with the devil on my shoulder. I'm sorry, and I'm keeping this money. It's my mum's birthday weekend. Her birthday's on Saturday, so shout out to mum. Happy birthday, mum. Well, not be happy birthday. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm taking my family out to dinner on Saturday. I'm not giving nothing back because at the end of the day I'm reading that book Too Nice to Be Your Own Good and pre this book, before reading this book, I would have said, okay, we give the money back. But me now, no. I know what I'm owed. The amount of times that they cut my hours, the amount of times no. Not happening. I'm sorry. They're not getting it back. <laughs> And if they contact me, I'm gonna act like I don't speak English. <laughs> no joking. No, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna act like I have no idea what I'm talk what they're talking about. Like I'm gonna act like Yeah, I'm gonna act like I have no idea what they're talking about. I mean I might even go as far as saying I lost my cars a while ago and you know, I don't know. Like maybe someone else has it, not me. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not recommending everyone to be like a bit of a dick. Like I understand, like I'm being a bit of a dick. I know I'm being a bit of a dick, but at the same time, I deserve to be a bit of a dick because at the end of the day, yeah, the 
how they treated me i deserve that extra wage thank you and you're not forgiven but you know i won't take you to court for emotional damage <laughs> so that's basically all um well that's basically the end of the video um i bought uh, my little my little sister is not really feeling well she's got the flu um bought her some snacks for my brother some snacks and yeah that's it <laughs> anyway um like comment subscribe do all the nice things turn on your notifications um press the bell and yeah so i'm a little stiff i was at yoga and honestly like the amount of times we was doing downward dog like literally my arms is like killing so that's probably why you've seen me like this throughout the whole video i'm not cold my arms are just hurting anyway so thank you so much for watching see you later bye